Hello everybody, Bruce Elgord here with a video on setting up Python and Visual Studio Code on a Windows computer. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to download and install Python. Uh, we're going to be installing Python 3.73. We're then going to download and install Visual Studio Code. And then once we have everything, uh, those two components installed, we're going to install three extensions for Visual Studio Code that are going to make your life as a Python programmer a lot easier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download and install Python. So you want to launch your favorite browser to H https colon slash slash python.org now you can see on my screen here that I have the python.org site loaded and if I hover my mouse over downloads and then I move my mouse carefully over to the python 3.73 button and notice above it it says download for windows I'm gonna click it and then in Chrome here, you can see that it's downloading. So once it's downloaded, I'm going to double click on it to start the installer. I'm going to minimize Chrome here because I don't need it anymore. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on install. Actually, what I want you to do is click on custom installation and then make sure everything is checked here. The next thing I want you to do is to make sure that you have uh, the first, the, well, the second and the third options checked. And then that's about it. That's all you really need. You can leave this path alone. If you want to make it something else, be my guest. No need to do that. So let's click on install. And you'll click on yes here from the uh, access control, user access control dialog. And now Python is going to install. It only takes a moment. There we go, all done. So now I'm just gonna click on close. So the next thing I want you to do is, no need to do anything else at this point with Python. The next thing I want you to do, uh, cause we're gonna be downloading and installing Visual Studio Code. It's a code editor uh, produced by Microsoft and it's a code editor that I've moved all of my programming classes to and we've had a lot of good success using it. It's a really good product. So if you point your favorite browser to https colon slash slash code dot visualstudio dot com again code dot visualstudio dot com you will be brought to the visualstudio dot code site. So I'm just going to type it in here code dot visualstudio dot com and there it is. Uh, and I'm going to click on the download for Windows button. And it's going to automatically start the download here in the lower left hand corner. I'm using Google Chrome. If you're on another browser, your file downloads will probably be, probably be somewhere else. Uh, up in the upper right hand corner somewhere. All right. So Visual Studio Code is downloaded. I clicked on it. You can, you, you can click on it once, not twice. Uh, and I'll click on next. I'll click on I accept the agreement and next. I'll leave the path alone. Next, next. And I'm going to create a desktop icon and I'm going to add the open with code option and I'm going to add the same here and I'm going to make it my default code editor. Depending upon what you have installed on your computer, uh, you may select different options here. If you have any questions, just hit me up on Slack or contact me and I'll help uh, you make those choices. I'll click on Next. I'll click on Next again. And now Visual Studio Code is being installed. Okay, lots to install here. And boom. Done. So I'm going to launch Visual Studio Code. That box is checked. I'm going to click on Finish. And there is Visual Studio Code. And it says, how do you want to open this? Uh, I don't know what file. I think it's opening an HTML file. So I'm going to click on Google Chrome and click OK. Always use this app. So yeah, it's just some uh, information on getting started. 
All right, so now we have Visual Studio Code installed. And I'm not going to give you a tour at this point of the Visual Studio Code Editor. But uh, let's, uh, let's look at this. It says help improve VS Code. Let's get rid of that because we don't need that. And this sidebar here, this icon right here, Okay, the one that I'm hovering over. Actually, let me make it bigger. There we go. So you see this icon right here? We need to add some additional functionality to Visual Studio Code. Now, the three things we're going to be adding, the extensions that we're going to be adding, as you saw in a previous slide at the beginning of this video, are the Python for Visual Studio Code, that extension, and then the Python uh, Auto Pep 8 extension. Don't worry too much about it right now. It's going to help you write better code. And then we're going to install the Better Comments extension. So let's start by clicking on the extension icon. And it brings up this panel on the left. And I'm going to type in Python, because we're going to install this Python, this first one right here that says Python, linting, debugging, multi-threading, all this stuff. So if I click on, uh, if I click on install, you'll see here that this particular extension uh, has been downloaded a lot and it's actually published and maintained by Microsoft. So all you want to do here is click on, oh, I have it installed already. So that's kind of, oh, I clicked on install over there. So uh, my fault. So let me uh, just go back there for a second. So when I clicked over here, there was an install. Okay. And when I clicked on it, it actually installed the extension. It's that easy. Okay. So now we need to install the auto pep eight extension. Also at any time, just click the pause button on this video so you can catch up. I know I sometimes talk fast. Or you can use the YouTube controls for the video to either slow it down or speed it up. Okay, so we have the Python extension installed. And the next one is the Python Auto Pep 8. So Python dash Auto Pep 8. I'll hit enter. And it says uh, this one right here Python Auto Pep 8. Click on install. Okay, and now the. Um, package is installed, the extension is installed, and then the last extension that I want you to install is the better comments. So let's type in better comments, and right here it says better comments, improve your code commenting, and this is the particular one. Make sure it looks like this, and then click install. Notice how I clicked on the words here rather than the install button there. And that's it. You are ready to rock and roll with Python. So how do you know? How do you know that everything is working correctly? I'm going to um, click on this X to close that window. And I'm going to click on the first icon in the upper left, which is your files and folders. Now, typically, when I uh, develop and when you develop your programs in Python, you're going to want to work uh, within a folder uh, instead of having individual files open. So I'm going to click on Open Folder, and I'm going to move this dialog right here. And on this PC, on the desktop, I'm just going to um, create a new folder. Let me find the new folder icon here. I'm a Mac person using a PC right now. So let's, uh, let's find it. I know you're probably telling me through the video where to find it, right? So let's click on the desktop, which I just did. And where's new folder? Where is new folder? I always get confused on Windows here. So, oh, there it is, new folder. Thanks, I appreciate everyone telling me, new folder. And I'll just call this test Python, and I'll click select folder. So now I have a folder, and I don't have any files. And by the way, you see this Visual Studio Code welcome screen here? Down here, right? You can show right whether that opens up or not when you start Visual Studio Code. So I unticked it. I'm going to click the X here to close that. And now I'm ready to rock and roll. So the easiest way is to click on File, New File. Or you can see here Control N to do that. 
or you can just click right here where it says new file and I'll do that and I'll just type in hello world.py hello world.py hit enter and now you can see I'm in a code editor here and I get a couple other things going on here it says linter pylint is not installed so let's auto install that I clicked on the lower left there to install it so you can see Visual Studio Code is installing it okay and it's downloading what it needs Okay, so there we go. Uh, and then the Python interpreter. Um, some of you may be running additional versions of Python from other programs. Just know that when you go to run a program, it may ask you to uh, select which interpreter you want. We installed version 3.73. Now, I don't know about you, but that type right there is kind of small. So what I'm going to do is go under File, and then I'm going to go under Preferences. So here it is right here. And then I'm going to go on Settings, Preferences Settings. And then I'm going to type on Font. And it shows right here that the editor font size, I'm in the middle of the screen, is set to 14. Uh, I'm pretty, uh, my vision is pretty bad. So I'm just going to go to 32, OK, 32. And you don't have to save anything. Visual Studio Code automatically saves it. And now you can see the font is a lot bigger, right? So how do we test Python to make sure it's working? So let's do something like print hello world. Look at that, hello world. That's uh, very common in programming to have your first program do a hello world. So if I right click here, if I right click and I can say run Python file in terminal, run Python file in terminal, you can see here that it printed out hello world. So Python is installed correctly and is working. Okay. So if you want to fool around and do some other things, you can, but that's a good sign. You have everything you need uh, to get started with uh, CTEC 121. If you have any questions, find me on Slack. That's my preferred way uh, to answer questions. I can either help you through Slack or I can do a web conference using a program called Zoom Meetings, uh, which I do use a lot. And typically, it's a lot easier to solve problems when we do an online meeting rather than trying to do it through Slack. Thanks for watching this video and have a good quarter.